So, you're filming in the auditorium, and this is the camera you have to use. And you're thinking to yourself, what am I going to do? Well, it's not that hard. Let's take a look at everything you need to do. First, right here, this is where all the magic happens. Press R to record. Do that five minutes. That's right, five minutes before you begin. Once you've pressed R to record, you should be good to go. Once in a while, you will use the data button. And when you press the data button, you will see the data switch on and off on your camera and then that way you'll be able to see what you need to see in the screen all right this right here at the bottom here is your zoom in zoom out i'm going to press it up and you'll see it will zoom in and it will zoom out and if i press it just a little bit it zooms in slow and if i press it just a little bit back it zooms in zooms out slow so you've got zoom in and zoom out. So don't forget, press R to record, zoom in, zoom out, and data takes care of all the data on your screen so you can see that you're actually recording. Okay, look at all that. All right, but wait, there's more. Now, let's put the data on the screen and you will notice right over here on the side, see how it says push auto? Well, hard to feel for that in the dark, but there's a lovely piece of tape over it. So when it's dark, you need to feel for it. You can put your finger right there, because I can't feel for anything. Oh my gosh, I feel the tape. And you press that if you're not sure if you're in focus, or you can tell you're out of focus. So that button will put you right in focus. And again, you'll be able to do that in the dark pretty easily. Also, something to look for is, if everybody looks really, really bright, you know what an f-stop looks like. There's your f-stop indicator at f3.2, and you can control the f-stop right here. There's three ridges, focus, zoom, and there's your aperture. Don't touch your focus here, because you're gonna use the autofocus button here. Don't touch the zoom, because you've got the zoom right here on the handle. So if you need to change the aperture, you just move this wheel. And the nice thing is it's the closest wheel with a lot of ridges. And when I turn this, you'll notice that the numbers change and it gets brighter or darker, okay? Just by turning this wheel. Let me show you the numbers again. If I push up on the wheel, the dark, it gets darker. If I push down on the wheel, it gets brighter. Average wheel, is right around 3.6 so we're going to leave it at 3.6 for now but if you do need to change it you can last but not least when the show's over wait a few seconds just to be safe and then press the r button so you press the r button five minutes before the show starts and you wait a few seconds before it ends when you do press the r button notice something i'm going to press it boom that becomes solid sort of solid that becomes a solid red that becomes a solid red and that says record so make sure that you see all those things don't worry about the little blinking light here just so long as you press the R it should record you're good to go any questions you can always text mr. Kaufman and then you know that's me use remind when you're finished at the end of the night take your finger at the power button and press off right in the middle there if you forget to do that the world will not come to an end just for as long as you finish recording that's the most important thing so again event starts before the event starts press record before the event starts after the event is over press the R ignore all these other buttons the data button the zoom button and the record button the push auto button and this little dial for aperture are all you really need, okay? Turning the cameras off is just a bonus. All right, this video has been under five minutes, not too bad, please enjoy and good luck when filming. Oh, one more thing, don't just sit here and watch the film. You're not here to sit and watch, you're here to film. So if someone's at the podium, zoom in on the podium and make sure you get them, okay? Don't go super fast, don't go super slow. If people are walking across the stage, just keep it wide and get them walking across the stage. All right? If they're announcing people, again, zoom in, get them doing their announcements, 
See how nice that looks? All right, zoom out and watch people walk across the stage. Good way to start any program is to have a nice wide shot and then zoom in. You are there to record and be a human being who moves the camera. Do not just sit here and watch the show. I can have anybody do that. They can all press record. Okay? Again, any questions, don't feel, feel free to text me.